Yo, what is going on guys? Izzy back here today with a video and today we kind of have a similar video to the common sense test. This is actually by the same people that made the common sense test. Uh, they're called Brightside. This one has 19 million and the other uh, video that we watched has around 10 million. And this is 10 hardest choices ever personality test. Now it's going to ask us questions and supposedly these, you know, these choices are going to be very hard to make and we have to decide on it. All right, guys, so now you guys see we're on the video right here. Um, 10 hardest choices ever personality test. Let's get right into it. Let's see what we got here. I'm very curious to see. Oh, that's loud. Okay. Look out. Here come the 10 hardest choices you'll ever have to make. Okay. Here we go. Throughout our lives, we are constantly bombarded with major choices. Which university should I apply to? I don't care about college. Should I take that higher paid job on the other side of the country? Why not? Do I like red M&Ms or blue? They have blue Our decisions not only determine our future, but also define us and shape our personalities. In this video, Brightside offers you the opportunity to make 10 extremely difficult choices. At the end of the video, we'll tell you what kind of person you are. Okay. There are only two possible answers to each question. You need to choose between option A, a and B. option B. Okay. So this is like the Kobayashi Maru test in Star Trek, huh? What is it? As Koshi you're taking the test, keep track of how many times you choose A or B. Oh, I don't know if I'm about to do that. you'll need these totals at the end of the video to find out your results. Okay, okay. You'll only have five seconds to think about each question. Five before seconds? Before give you the explanation. Don't think too long. Okay, I'm, with okay. Your gut. okay, okay. You'll okay, get okay. the most accurate results that way. I'm going to not try to pause every Coming question. From I'm going to try to be quick with the five seconds. A, be the smartest person around, or okay. B, the most charming. Smartest person around or the most charming? Smartest. Why would I? Yeah, I'm going to be, this, the I'm gonna be big brain. Well, big brain. Now, big brain. You could go so far with the big brain. Don't really care about what other people think. You're just fine on your own. If you'd prefer to be charming, other people's opinions are important to you. Okay. What else we got? What else Question we got? This is easy so far. Would you rather A, always have to tell the truth, or B, always lie? Always have to tell the truth. That has to be that, right? Always have to tell the truth. Always lie, that's... Nah, nah, nah. Can I just take the Fifth Amendment right now? Now this really is a tough choice. You either can't lie at all, or you can never tell the truth. Yeah, if why would I not tell the truth? Lies, it indicates that you're a selfless person. Question Big eight, facts. Would you rather A. Never have internet access again, or B. Never take an airplane in your life? Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, see, this is where, this is where things get... Oof. Never have internet access again, or never take an airplane in your life. So, I either lose whole connection to the whole world. Wait, but you... I might find a loophole. Alright, so if I don't have internet access, does that mean... Can I use my LTE? Is that internet access? Yeah, right. It'd have to be never take a plane. Hmm. It has to be never take a plane. Internet is like, it's everything, right? The only reason I, I'm arguing this is because I, I'd like to go see my girlfriend, but I mean, I, I just end up having to drive there then. Or C, never have to take an enema. That's not a choice. Okay, that was, I was like, what? <laughs> There's C? Line, the choice might be obvious for you. But if you're an avid traveler, we feel your pain. Choosing the internet over flying could mean that you care a lot about the environment. What? Or you just really love watching our videos on YouTube. Plus, thanks to I mean, the yeah, you're giving me you video ideas. Of course I love your videos. Without ever leaving your apartment. Okay. Question seven. Would you rather A, find true love, or B, win a million dollars? I, I, I already I already got true love in my opinion, so I've already done that, and I, I'll, I'll make a million on my own. I'll make a million on my own. I don't even win it. I'll make it on my own. Really believe in such things as true love. You're probably really practical and unemotional. 
I'll make them wait. I found two of them already, so. Would you rather A, never be able to speak again, or B, always have to say everything on your mind? Oh, I gotta think about this. Okay, so never be able to speak again or always have to say everything on your mind. Here's the thing, I don't really speak that much, but never being able to speak again? Here's the thing, like, if, if you go with B, right? And you see someone maybe not having the best outfit or anything, you just have to say that out loud. Can I whisper it? If I can whisper it, that's fine. Because I'm still saying it, it's just saying it in a low tone. Yeah, it'd have to be B. Because never speaking again, I mean, how would this work? This this wouldn't work. Just imagine me quiet. This would not work. Oh, I like that one. Not being able to speak is really hard. But is it worse that you're always saying what you think? Your girlfriend asks you if she looks good. And you are unable to lie and say, yes. Can you imagine the consequences? Bro, if you so gotta lie to your girl like that, man. Yo, I know they're not gonna hit me with an ad right now. I know for a fact they're not gonna hit me with an ad. My girlfriend always looks good, so... That's... That's not me. Yo, are you serious? I really gotta go through this. See, this is what I'm trying to... I'm trying to get some ads. I mean, I'm not trying to be rude, but I'm trying to hit y'all with ads. But I can't do that yet. have a photographic memory. Or B, be able to forget anything you want. Photograph memory, 100%. I, I feel like I've already been through what I need. I've been through, you know? There's just no point in forgetting it now. What was the question again? Photograph it. Do you realize how you good I would be at sports? Useless. But you know, this can be a curse. I'll just memorize the whole field and where everyone is. Forget. So forgetting anything that you want at any time now sounds pretty tempting, right? However, choosing a photographic memory means that you're a strong person. Yeah, I'm going to choose a photographic memory. Four, would you rather A, never have sex again, or B, never eat your favorite food? Damn, I got family watching this. Um, Damn, Taco Bell's got to go. Taco Bell's got to go. Yeah. Choosing to never have sex probably means that you prefer to be alone. And if you opted for food, well... You must really love food. Mm, I know. Number three. Would you rather A, be the only person in the world to live a happy life, or B, be the only person in the world to live an unhappy life? B, wait. Yeah, B. If I have to sacrifice myself for everyone to do that, then that's that's how it would be. That's selfish for me to just be happy and everyone be like that. This one is extremely hard, too. Can you it's really, really not happy though. in a world where there are only unhappy people? Yeah, I guess your you're friends, right. Your family, all having hardships except lucky you? Yeah, I could give it a yeah, shot. Yeah, that's just, it's just no, selfish at one point. It's selfish. Question two. Would you rather A, be the first person to discover an inhabitable planet? Okay. Or B, be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease? An inventor of a drug oh, that's a tricky one. that cures deadly disease? You can like discovering a planet. Hold on, discovering a planet is cool and all, but you can't even live on the planet. It says an inhabitable planet. So what's you just you just discovered a big ass rock in space? Like congrats? No, I'd be the inventor of a drug that cures a deadly disease. What kind of question is this? That's that's mad dumb. I'm sorry, but that's dumb. Oh yeah, I'm that guy that discovered that rock over there. Oh cool. What, what can we like live on it and stuff? Nah, I just. Discovered it is cool. Well, it's like named after me or something. Would be a huge leap in technology, I don't know. Only in the long term. This, so you'd probably never if I was be beat, this COVID thing would be done like in two seconds. And question one. Would you rather A, be poor but be able to help people or B, get incredibly rich by hurting other people? Wait. It has to be the be poor and be able to help people. I don't want to hurt other people. What? I didn't read the B one right now, I was If you chose option A, it means you're someone who cares about other people more than yourself. I do. As for choosing B, well, it's pretty much the opposite. But I hurt people. Okay, now it's time to see the final results. Surprise, this was a test of how hmm, selfish you are. Oh, how sneaky. I picked a bunch of A's. If you chose A from one to three times, you're a pretty selfish person. Very few people would like to work with you in a team. It's 
It's not that bad, though. It just means that you prefer fighting for yourself to get exactly what you want. Oh, one to three times. Really step on other people to get there. I think I got like seven pages. If you chose option A from four to six times, that means you're moderately selfish. You're like the Goldilocks of this list. Not too much, not too little, just mm -hmm. right. As I think I'm the last orange. one. Pretty much most people would fall into this category. You can be selfish when you need to be. Okay. I'm either this one or the last one. I know I didn't choose A just one to three times. Seven to ten times. You're the type of person who is always ready to sacrifice your own interests for someone stop, else. Stop, stop making me blush. Will you ever want in life if you easily give it up for others? Mother Teresa, she's back. They're not going to hit me with this fucking ad. They're not hitting me, they're not, they're not hitting me with an ad. Nope. Mm-mm. Nope. Nope. Uh-uh. Nope. All right, guys. Now that you guys see that I've taken the test, I've taken the personality test. I didn't keep track of how many A's I had. I like to think I'm not a selfish person. There were some questions that I did have to reconsider. There's some questions that I definitely had to, you know, read again. But I think this test was pretty easy. I think, you know, I don't consider myself a selfish person. I like to help people out. And, and if it's... If I have to sacrifice myself in order to help something, then, then, then let that be it. But um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys back on Monday. Peace out, everyone.